Hey everyone, it's Keith here. In today's video, we're taking a look at what I carry in my tech pouch as a content creator. The tech pouch I'm using is the Alpaca Elements tech case in the limited edition Grey X pack. This pouch is incredibly versatile because it has a detachable strap. I usually keep the strap on the pouch and throw it in my backpack and duffel bag. And once in a while, I'll use the Elements tech case as a sling setup. And that's a quick overview of how I use this tech pouch and I'll share more of my thoughts on the Elements tech case at the end of the video. This pouch is pretty simple in terms of design. It only has two zippered compartments. In the front zippered compartment, I keep a cleaning cloth that came with one of my knives. It's pretty good quality and I use it to wipe any smudges and dust on products. I also carry a cleaning cloth in my EDC, but keep a second one in the pouch as a backup. In the same compartment, I also have a microfiber cloth and a cleaning spray from Woosh. I lost the 30ml bottle a few weeks ago and here I have the 100ml bottle to show you what the cleaning spray looks like. Every now and then when my phone screen or iPad screen has tons of fingerprints, I'll do a deep clean with the Woosh spray. It does a fantastic job and the screens look brand new. The 30ml bottle is very carry friendly and is great for on the go. I also use the 100ml bottle and large spray bottle in the studio for laptop screens and monitors. The last item I keep in the front pocket is some extra band-aids just in case I cut myself. Moving into the main compartment of the tech pouch, it opens up very wide and has an accordion style organization system. Inside, it's got a bright blood orange honeycomb ripstop lining to make it easier to find your gear. In the back slot, I have my iPad mini 6 in space gray with the Apple cover. I love using the iPad mini when I'm not using the desktop at home. I use the iPad to write my YouTube scripts, consume content, reply to emails, FaceTime, and check my Notion and Shopify. When I'm doing client work or producing content, I love using the iPad to keep track of my shot lists. I've been using it for over a year and haven't had any issues with the processing power. I'm not a power user and usually open a few apps at the same time and it's kept up very well. Another reason I love the iPad mini is its size and portability. This iPad can fit into all of my slings and backpacks. When I'm at a client meeting, I also bring the iPad to take notes and show photos or videos for client approval. In my favorite winter gear video, I shared that the iPad mini perfectly fits in the inner pocket of the Uniqlo down jacket. It's not very comfortable to carry, but it works great as a minimal setup during winter. I've had the iPad mini for over a year and I still love using it. This little tablet has played an important role in my workflow and I'm very excited for the next generation of the iPad mini. In the next slot, I keep a standard USB-C charger that came with my iPad mini. It's a fairly small size and does the job for now. I'm currently looking for a wall charger with multiple USB-C ports and checking out a few from Anchor. If you have any recommendations or experience with them, let me know in the comments. Below the charger, I store my Xiaomi 20,000 milliamp power bank at the bottom. I've had this power bank for a few years and still enjoy using it. It's quite an old model, but this one has a LED display to show the battery percentage. In terms of ports, it has two USB-A for output, a micro USB for input, and a USB-C that works both as input and output. It's pretty heavy and takes a while to charge it back up. This power bank is a lifesaver and it came in clutch on multiple occasions. I always carry this with me in my tech pouch, sling, and backpack. The last item I keep in the slot is Ryu Kakusan Throat Candy in the Yuzu flavor. It's a Japanese herbal medicine that helps relieve coughs or throat irritations. As a content creator, I always need to look after my throat and voice, and these Ryu Kakusan Throat Candies have been super helpful over the past year. Each time I film these YouTube videos, I sometimes lose my voice and my throat gets very hoarse. I always keep some on me to take care of my throat. Moving back to the pouch, one of the internal dividers has a zipper pocket with three slip pockets which are great for smaller items. I don't carry too many small things and only keep a spare SD card here. It doesn't have fast read write speeds for video work, but it works fine for photos on my Fujifilm X-T3. In the next slot, I've got my A6 Slim Journal from Muji. I don't think Muji needs an introduction and I'm a huge fan of the products. I've got so many pens and journals from Muji. The one I keep in my tech pouch is an A6 grid journal. I love using grid lines to draw things and keep my notes organized. This slim journal only has 40 pages and doesn't take up much pocket space. I don't have an Apple Pencil for my iPad and at the moment I love writing down ideas in my journal. 
In the same slot as my journal, I store a USB-C right angle cable from Ugreen. This cable has a straight USB-C adapter on one end, and the other is a 90 degree or right angle USB-C adapter. I use this cable a lot because of the right angle adapter. It's super handy. When I need to charge my iPad while FaceTiming, I can rest the iPad on the adapter without needing to awkwardly rest the iPad on something with the straight cable sticking out the end. Also, when I'm using the iPad in hand while it's charging, having a right angle adapter makes holding the iPad much more comfortable. In terms of power delivery, it supports up to 60 watts, which is pretty good. Overall, I love this cable and it's one of my most used charging cables. Moving over to the next slot, here I have a USB hub from Wavelink. I mostly use this with my iPad mini when I'm in the studio. I can plug in a mouse and monitor and be more productive. This hub has all of the ports I need such as a USB type A, an SD card reader and an HDMI. One cool thing about this hub is that it has a USB type C power delivery which is super handy. With this feature, I can charge my iPad mini while using the ports on the hub. I've had this USB hub for about a year and haven't had any issues. The next item I keep in the slot is the rolling square in charge XL cable and it's the 2 meters or 6.5 foot version. This is a 6 in 1 charging cable with ultra fast charging. One end has a USB type A and a USB C for the input. On the output there's a lightning and micro USB combo adapter and a USB C as well. Most of my friends have iPhones and this cable is very handy when my friends need to charge their phones. The 2 meter length is quite useful, especially when I need to charge my iPad while working across the studio. Besides the 2 meter length, I've also used other rolling square charging cables in the past and really like them. Especially the InCharge X cable, which is a keychain sized cable. If you want to grab a cable or two, I have an affiliate link with a 20% off discount code in the description box. The last item in the slot is the Moondrop Chew. These are an affordable pair of in-ear monitors and have fantastic sound quality. I keep it in the tech pouch in case I need better audio quality to monitor the audio while editing and listening to music. The Moondrop Chew has a 3.5mm jack and I only use it with my old Samsung S10 Plus and desktop computer. Moondrop recently released the Click which is an entry level USB DAC and amp. I might consider picking it up in the future so I can use the Moondrop Chew with my iPad mini. I think for $25, the Moondrop Chew is still a great pair of affordable IEM. Moving over to the two slip pockets, I always keep these empty in case I need to store more gear. Above the pockets, there's a pen loop for an Apple Pencil, but here I've got my Mark II pen from Studio Neat. This small pen is super minimal and beautiful. The end cap has a slightly textured matte black Cerakote finish and I love how it looks and feels. The pen has a beautifully polished and smooth stainless steel body and the seam to access the refill is hidden very well. Inside the pen it's using a Schmidt 8126 mini refill which is 0.6mm thick. When the pen is extended it feels well balanced and the ink writes very smoothly. When you cap the pen there's a very satisfying magnetic closure and the overall size is perfect for EDC. I've been using the Mark II pen for a while now and I love the black Cerakote finish. The pen feels very premium and I haven't had any issues with the pen sliding out of the cap. If you're looking for a compact EDC pen, I recommend checking out the Mark II pen from Studio Neat. That's everything I carry in this tech pouch and now let's talk about the Elements tech case. It's a fantastic tech pouch and it's possibly one of the best products Alpaca has made. The accordion style organization system works well and the high-vis orange honeycomb lining makes it easy to find my gear. I love the design and size of this pouch. I can throw this everywhere like in a backpack or duffel bag. Some backpacks and duffel bags don't have a dedicated tablet sleeve and this tech pouch is a great alternative. I've kept the strap on the pouch in case I need to take this iPad mini setup to business meetings. The case comes with a thin strap and it's good for short trips to a coffee shop. However, if you're planning to carry the tech pouch for long hours, I recommend getting one of the pro straps from Alpaca. They are wider than the stock strap and come with a maglock or fidlock option. I like the fidlock for the slimmer profile, but either is better than the stock strap. There are lots of great things about this pouch, however, there's one negative thing. I found that storing slimmer items like pens in the main slots can sometimes slip to the bottom and slide around. 
I found it best to store slimmer items in the front pocket or in one of the slip pockets. Overall, I love this tech pouch and it's been a great addition to my carry setup. I've enjoyed using it over the past six to eight months and I highly recommend checking it out if you're looking for a versatile tech pouch. What are your thoughts on my current setup? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy the video on the screen where I talk about my EDC for 2023. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.